Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel and of course a shout out to my friends at the Drone Seekers. Uh, I'm, I'm with a friend of mine today, Carson Skinner and I, and we've we got the Corvette and we're out at Lucky Peak Reservoir and we've got the Hubson Zeno and uh, we're going to put it up in the air and uh, fly it out and maybe we'll try some waypoints or something like that. So uh, I don't know, let's just play it by ear. Let's. Uh, I'm actually ready to go let's get the thing in the air i think we ought to do a hand launch so let me start recording here first okay i've started recording on the drone and uh yeah we're drone reports ready to go so uh, we're just going to take off here one two three So that wasn't bad. You saw that, there was really no drop there. Uh, it's a pretty windy day today. I'm gonna say we're all uh, probably six to 10 mile an hour winds, at least that. Uh, but it's, you know, it's decent enough and the drone seems, seems to be uh, handling it well. So uh, let's, uh, let's do an up and away. I'm gonna stand here next to Carson. We'll get it up here a little ways and over let's get a look at that good look at that beautiful corvette i think okie dokie one two three backwards and up Okay, that's good enough. I think that's as high as we want to go. Uh, we are up at about 67 meters. Let me get the shade so I can see what I'm looking at here. Okie dokie. Yeah, no, that's all right. I'm trying, I'm trying to see the... Uh, Okay, so I'm going to see if I can uh, do a waypoint mission here. We haven't done that for a while. So uh, let's do waypoint planning. And uh, yeah, this is kind of not tough because I did not. Now, you know what? Cancel that because I did not uh, copy this map. So we are going to get out of that. Let's try a line fly. Hundred meters. We're gonna go at top speed. Preview flight route. Execute immediately. See, it's directly above us, Carson? Yeah. Okay, so that's it. So it reached the end of its... Uh, let's drop it down here a little bit. jet skis there that's the boat launch you guys probably haven't seen this uh, uh, this lake this full the reservoir it's uh, just about full to the top a 
kind of holding the controller in the shade here so I can uh, see the FPV. Coming up on 450 meters, doing fine. Got a boat coming straight at us. We're a little over 500 meters, that's good enough. Let's, uh, let's do a, uh, a return to home and we'll cancel it before it uh, gets completely back. And that's us on the end of that little bluff there. Uh, so you'll see it come back towards us. It's actually going into the wind uh, at about seven meters per second. So that's pretty darn good. It is flying directly into the wind. I take that back. It's flying with the wind. I'll drop the camera as we get closer. Down to 60% battery. There's me and Carson. I'm kind of uh, kind of behind the Corvette. I was kind of getting in the shade there. down in here a little bit and then we'll cancel the RTH. So it just goes into a hover just like it's supposed to. Let's go back out over the lake. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of a circle flight here. We're going to go back into intelligent flight modes, orbit mode. Got the transmitter set as the point of interest. Execute immediately. Failed to turn on orbit mode, it says. Oh, I think I know what I have to do. I think I have to turn off uh, video first, so I'm gonna shut off video. And then I'm gonna go back in. And we're gonna go orbit mode. And transmitter as point of interest. Execute immediately. Yeah, so for some reason it, it's giving me a fail to turn on orbit mode. So let's, uh, let's try something different here. Don't know what's going on, guys. We're going to turn video back on. Uh, come back in here. Here an aircraft off in the distance, he appears to be well clear of us. We're dropping altitude just to be on the safe side. Get my eyes on that aircraft. Yeah, he is way higher than us and off to the right. So we're in good shape. Uh, but you always want to make sure. So it's saying the battery's down to 40%. So we are not, uh, we may not be able to get an orbit mode done here. I 
let's just fly on in here let's take a couple pictures So the drone is doing the uh, typical Hubson, uh, you know, instability. It's a little, it's moving around in a little bit of a circle. But we're going to go into uh, picture mode here. And we're going to take a couple pictures. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, on the <laughs> count of three. One, two, three. There's one. Let's get in a little closer. Man, it's, it is not very stable. This wind just is not. Car Carson's taking a picture of the drone. You see it moving around in a circle there? That's what we talk about with the instability with the Hubson. It's really, really makes it tough to do fine controls. So I think we're in a spot here where we can take another picture. The drone will stay still long enough. I need to back up just a little. Okay, one, two, three. Do another one here. Turn it just a little. One, two, well, maybe not. <laughs> three. Uno mas. <laughs> Okay, I think we got some pictures there. It's, uh, the problem with this little Hudson, especially in the wind, is it just isn't a very stable uh, camera platform. So, uh, it's down to 29%. Let's go, let's go, uh, I'm going to go back into video mode and uh, pick up the camera just a little. And we are going to go up and back. And it should give us an automatic RTH any minute now. It's at 25%. What do you think, guys? It must feel like it's got enough to get back. I'm not going to mess around. I'm going to bring it home. RTH. So here it comes. And we'll cancel that before it... Uh, before it comes down so that we can do a, uh, a hand uh, catch. Okay, we canceled. Okay, you can come in as close as you want, Carson.
Cool. We did it. Okay, so let's do a quick uh, conclusion here. So, we took the drone out over Lucky Peak Reservoir today. Uh, I wanted to do a waypoint mission. The, I failed because I did not save the map to my phone, and we are uh, out of uh, cell phone range here, so we cannot... Uh, we could not retrieve maps, so it didn't allow us to do that. So we did go out a little ways, took on a little bit of a distance flight, uh, failed on doing an orbit. I'm not sure why. It, I, I, that's the first time I've done an orbit with uh, the drone uh, using the controller as the center point. For some reason that didn't work, but, uh, but I think we took some pretty cool pictures and uh, kind of a windy day and, uh, you know, just kind of gives you another look at the Hubson. Uh, the stability. So what we saw with it kind of moving around there, and I was fortunate to have Carson with me today so he could get some good pictures of that. Uh, so it really shows how this drone, it, it's just a, it just has not quite the stability that you'll find with like a Paradinafi or even the Femi X8. And for sure uh, the, the uh, uh, DJI Spark, let alone the Mavic or, or any of those drones. But that doesn't mean it's still not a good camera platform. It still uh, performs well, really solid connection there, never never a loss of connection. And obviously you guys will see the video quality, really good video quality with this thing. And you know, I always go back to the fact that people are buying this drone on eBay now for 250 bucks, which it's just a steal for that, for that kind of money. So a uh, solid uh, GPS drone for that. So uh, at any rate, <laughs> Uh, I guess that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And you know what? I really appreciate you guys looking at this video. And uh, hey, we'll see you on the next one. And we're good.